All right, welcome back to my channel again and on another episode of uh, Ian R. Johnson Vlogs. I just want to say I hope everyone's keeping well out there due to the COVID-19. Um, I hope everyone's staying safe. And I also want to say uh, this episode coming up, this was filmed a while back before all these restrictions came in at um, WA Regions. I just want to say everyone as well back home in the Philippines, I hope everyone's keeping well, staying safe. Ma, familia, kaibigan ko lahat. Be safe. Kaya natin to. We can do it. We'll get over this and we'll get back to normal as soon as we can. And we got down here. <laughs> hey, good day guys, how you going? Obviously you remember me from the last silly episode. What have you got there? Good day guys. The other day I went out, went for a bit of a dive and that. GoPro went flat. Didn't get much footage and stuff, so uh, the only one we did get hold of was well, uh, I shot a coral trout. The whole mob of sharks come in and virtually took it off, so that was probably the best episode I got on the GoPro. Anyway, everyone be safe with this corona and yeah, see if you guys like it anyway. So we'll play that footage now, just before the episode. So peace out, everyone. Where'd you get that down? You got a new reel, eh? New reel, yeah. This is a um, Abu Garcia Salty Stage Jigging Reel. Yeah. Um, quite expensive. 14, oh, I think it's 14 or 12 kilo drag. I think it's 14. Yeah. Uh, one turn's equivalent to 80 centimeters of line. Yeah, right. Yeah. Give it a crack. First time, oh, today's first day, eh? Oh, second day, but I have second day. Hey! Oh, nice! Hang on. <laughs> uh, that's a nice piece of size. Wow, that's a trout. Is it? Yeah! See, let's see. Yeah! Alright, all good. Dan's just got a trout. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> Let's get this. 47. Huh? 45 trout size. So what, what was yours? 47. 47. Now. Okay. Good job. Yeah. There you go, guys. You got a trout. Woohoo! Good one. Good work. Good job. Right. Let that spool thing go. Now at um, Weedy Island, got some fish, we didn't expect to catch that much. <laughs> what do you reckon? <laughs> Especially in 40 minutes, yeah, we did all right. Yeah, it's pretty got good. A couple of snapper, nice trout. What, well, do you want to hold them up in, Sean? Nah, you hold them up, bro. Whoa. Yes. Nice. Nice, decent size. If you have a look at me, you'll see a few more. How many snappers we get? Three snappers. Three snappers and um, trout. And a trout. So yeah, look at that. Pretty nice. Got the tent set up. Dan's got his tent set up. I mean, <laughs> Dan's got his shade set up. <laughs> Not the tent. And uh, and uh. And now it's time to crank it. That's it. Peace out. Cheers. We're in a bit of an awkward position at the moment. <laughs> hey, and we got our fillets here. Trying to make the best of it, best of it anyway. Did you know all set up little boy? It's fresh. <laughs> Such a beautiful day. Nah. Yeah, look at it, man. It's awesome. So 
sausages again. Monday! We got Mr. Tim here. Howdy. Tim Beatty. Yeah. Chilling. <laughs> Ati Leonard. <laughs> Ati Leonard Beatty. <laughs> What do you <laughs> Sausages and patties, hamburgers. Set up there. Oh, okay, anyone? <laughs> bit of squid. The, the squid we caught earlier, but we didn't get it on footage. No gray was flat again. <laughs> Again, got a bit of squid going on. And a squid. Yeah, it's, it's cooked in butter. That's all we have. Butter. A bit of, uh, sea salt from the ocean. Oh, it's dried out in the container. Catch and cook, eh? How's the fish going, bro? Not know. I'll just try this a little bit here. Oh man, that was good. Top star, boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right there. <laughs> yeah, this is all right. Right, you want some? What do you reckon? Very good. good. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have some of that. Up. Oh, what do you reckon of it, Tane? Pretty good, huh? <laughs> <laughs> How was it, Nate? Was it good? Yeah, boy! Yeah, so, nice, decent sized snapper. Which one did I catch? I caught a pretty big one as well. Oh, is it the same size or what? Yours? Yeah. I think yours might be the biggest. Bigger? Yeah. You reckon? Yeah. Mm. Once Can again. Fuck. Snap up. Ah. I hate getting burnt, man. So, um. You giving them to Tim, eh? Yeah, you know. Support Timmy! But yeah, yeah, no. I'll fill it. Back. To see if there's any bones. Yeah, so this must be my one, eh? Um, As you all know, it's always good to bleed the fish before you put it in the esky. Yeah, right. If you don't bleed it, this happens. As soon as you hit the backbone, you split the bloodline, and then the bloodline virtually goes through all the meat. Oh, true. Yeah, so if you yeah, try to right. get to fill it off quick enough, yeah. you're laughing. If not, you get a little bit of blood in your meat. Yeah, right. Yeah. And then what I do is leave Cut it to there. Obviously, you leave the fillet on there because all you have to do now is cut around the rib cage. Yeah. Then you turn it over. It keeps it the same level. The easier you get the fillet off, otherwise, if that's off, it's a different level to the head because the head's bigger and it's harder to cut around the bones. Yeah. Nice one. Yeah, that was a pretty good. <laughs> yeah, man. Wasn't expecting that this morning. Yeah, so, oh, well, we didn't get any blue bone because the um. Is that crab, what you is that what you wanted to get? Blue bone. Oh, because the crabs are still frozen. What if oh. you want a big bone? <laughs> they were the big bone. <laughs> yeah. See the blood on it. Yeah, so, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fish burgers tonight or what? Straight oh, fish up. wraps. Fish wraps or fish burgers? Fish wraps. Yeah. Fish wraps. So, yeah. We'll show you guys how we do it. Yeah. Fish wraps and other people, but yeah. So this is a core trout that Dan caught. Yeah. Just over. Just over, oversized. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, it was a, it's just over anyway. Good enough for a feed, eh? Perfect for a feed. Nice one. Small ones are already be always better. Yeah. If you do get a big one, always let them go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that boy. Oh, Ooh, boy. Nice 
one. Back at the kitchen, eh? Mm. Cooking up. Back at the kitchen soon, guys. Come on. Okay, I'm pretty tired just now. What are you cooking, Mr. Voyevich? How you going, guys? This is a bit of the blue boat I caught the other day, which you probably would have seen earlier on the clip, um, where the GoPro went flat, just the picture clips. So, it's all the models that eat this, considering it's the last bit of the yeah. trout we caught today, which you probably seen in the pics as well. Hang on, hang on. Yeah. We'll vac snap and keep that one fresh. Yeah, um, nice. So, here, normally I'll cut it down not nice and thin. This is a little bit too thick normally that I have in wraps and that because I don't like the oh. fishy taste or the blood because it makes it real fishy. Right, so blue, I always bluebird is nice fish. <laughs> yeah, no, it is. But if there's obviously blood in any fish, we normally cut it out because it tastes too fishy. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Anyway, when it's this thick, what I normally do is cut it up like that there. Like obviously because we're gonna have super lucky wraps, nice, nice and thin warm. like that because it's gonna be crumbed. And then I just throw it into this here, which I've already got done up for a couple yeah. of super luckies. And then. I whack, yeah, I just whack on like a bit of lime juice and that, just to get the flavours out, you know, maybe half an hour after I put the lime juice on, or yeah. I'll virtually put it in crumbs, I don't use much egg in that, just straight in crumbs, and then yeah. fry it in oil, and then straighten the wrap, and yeah, we'll get back to you on that. And then in the meantime, he's got this cooking up in the back. That's just the kids' pumpkin soup. Pumpkin Whoa. soup! You go, lime juice or lemon juice, whatever you want to use. Mm -hmm. Probably got this thing back home. Um, uh, I, I don't know if it's similar, but um, so they put the fish, the raw fish in there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Lime, and it cooks it. Yeah. You can either lemon. Use, you can either use lemon, lime, or vinegar. Yeah, but yeah, that's uh, vinegar as well. I know just it, it cooks it. Yeah, it's called raw fish. Raw fish. Yeah. 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 The onions and garlic and that just cook it, but it has to be really thin to cook it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's it, yeah. Or chopped up and that's that. why I use like trevally and stuff like that to make it Oh, okay. Yeah. G'day guys, welcome back to another <laughs> episode of Darren's Cooking Adventures. <laughs> Today we got a bit of blue bone here and we're gonna Man. shallow fry it and a bit of crumbs. I don't even know if you can get that in the Philippines, blue bone battle. Um, my own you don't Philippines. Real name is uh, black spot tusk fish. Black spot tusk. Yeah, it's a nice looking fish. And, it's got, and the meat's good, huh? The meat's really white, yeah. It's the meat's really not bad up the meat. And it's, and it's, and it's um, thick, eh? That right there, you can tell. Man. It's pretty, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty thick. Thick, yeah, because it's a big fish. Oh, oh here you go. Bomb. Bomb. So just fry them up. Oh, look at it. Woo. And Golden a, again. And the key is not to overcook it. Don't overcook it. Oh, really, Ruben? Any fish. Yeah, true. As soon as it loses that flesh color, pull it out. And then um, you got here, the wraps are all ready to go. Ooh. This is my first time to try it. Lucky enough that it's a blue bone fish that we're gonna yeah. eat. So that's it, all done. So how do you do it? So what do you got, Tony? You got the, what's this? Aioli? Aioli and sweet, sweet chili. chili. And some salad. Bumble. And some cheese. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, I'm Look, dope. Yum, Tony. Yeah, So I'm gonna end this vlog now. It's time to, you know, just chillax now. Chill out. Eat this delicious wrap. It's been a good day. Thanks again for watching. If you guys liked it, enjoyed it, subscribe, like. I'm sure. So, thank you very much. See you in the next vlog. Peace out. We out.